Hi guys. Thanks for hopping on. I am going to be glittering some cups that I sublimated yesterday. I'm showing you guys how you can combine glitter and sublimation. <laughs> hey, Kizzy. I'm surprised you're still up. So these cups that I'm going to show you, I sublimated these um, yesterday when I went live um, and I sanded them and now I'm going to, I'm taking them off so I can glitter the blank spaces and um, coat these with Hyperion. So you can see how you can mix sublimation and Hyperion. So all these cups I did, well I have three that I'm gonna do and they were super easy to do the design. I just found um, like a repeating pattern. And then in Inkscape, which I use on my computer, I just um, put in a couple slices with whatever color I wanted or you can leave it white. Um, and then I sublimate it like this. So now I'm gonna have super easy lines to follow to tape off um, a lot of people do designs like this with vinyl, and I have never tried it. I'm not um, the best at laying vinyl straight and without bubbles, so I thought this would be an easy alternative since I do like to do sublimation. And if you guys have any questions at all about sublimation or Hyperion, I can answer both. Creeps is in all stalker like. Hi, Annie. <laughs> How's everybody's evening going? The difference between Hyperion and resin. So Hyperion is water-based and um, it's non-toxic. You can use it inside of your home, um, craft studio, wherever. You can use it around kids and pets and you can recode it every two hours. It's super durable. It dries crystal clear and um, very, very easy to use. You don't have to mix anything. You literally can just pour it out of the jug and uh, brush it on your cup. I've never heard of the second word you're saying. I don't even know how to spell it. Let me show you. So this is Hyperion, and this is the top coat I work with. This is the alternative to epoxy. It's water-based, um, very low VOCs. And again, like I said, you could use it in your home. I'm inside my house in my craft area and uh, I've got two toddlers and a dog and, and I don't have to wear a mask or uh, tape off the room or anything. Okay, so this one's taped off. I, uh, I'm not gonna glitter at the rim so I don't, I'm not gonna worry about this area. And so I'm gonna glitter here, here, and then I'll do the bottom as well. And if you were on my live yesterday, you guys saw me sublimate this cup along with um, these two. So I'm gonna be taping those off as well. Um, and then I sublimated this one yesterday and I think I'm just gonna add opal glitter to it to make it even prettier. 
and all of these I have sanded so you can see they used to be glossy and now they look dull um, sanding isn't going to ruin the design as you can see but it is going to take off the um, the resistive top coat and then you can um, glitter paint do whatever you want to do over top of it Yes, it's the perfect alternative to resin. Um, I'm actually, I can show you guys now. Um, I have some cups on my turners that I have not um, added a coat to Hyperion yet um, in the last two hours. So I can show you how I coat them. And I have, sorry, it's all shaky. Um, I've sanded these ones, but I haven't added a coat since. So you can see like they look, all dull from sanding so I'll show you guys what it looks like after I add a coat of Hyperion to them and then I can also show you a couple coat uh, tumblers that I have finished with Hyperion so you can see what it looks like on a finished cup um, and what's nice too is I just keep a cup of water with my brushes next to um, my turners and I use a Taclon brush to apply mine. Just dab it off really good on a paper towel. And then I can apply my coats. And then I just stick it right back in the water when I'm done. So it's super easy to use. And uh, every two hours, you just come back and do it again. Okay. And so I showed you guys that big jug of Hyperion um, that I purchased, but I keep mine in a condiment bottle just to make it easier to pour out onto the cup. And if you're just starting out with Hyperion, we always recommend that you measure uh, just to make sure that you're putting on enough. But um, I've been using it for quite a while now, so I just kind of eyeball it. But I'll just brush it on. And it's gonna have this milky white look to it that's completely normal. And then as it's drying, it's gonna dry clear. But I kind of like that it's um, got a little bit of color to it. That way you can see exactly where it is. If it's a little thicker in any areas, you can brush that out. And you can put a good amount on, especially if your glitter is still rough. And then as your cup gets smoother, you can use less and less. But what's cool is when you're just building up layers of it over top of your glitter, um, you could put as much on as you can fit and it's going to build up so fast. And these ones I just started um, two days ago. And then yesterday I went live and I did sublimation, so I didn't work on these uh, too much yesterday. Otherwise, they could already be ready for decals. Um, these white ones, I could actually add the decals to them, but I'm going to do one more coat before I do that. Um, let me move you a little bit. I guess it was fine there. And how many coats do you have to use? You're just going to want to use as many coats as you need to get it perfectly smooth. Um, so sometimes that could be six coats, sometimes that could be 12 coats. It depends on a few uh, different things. One is how um, thick you're putting your coats on, and then the other things could be what's on your cup. So if it's just, um, just vinyl over paint, then it's not going to take much. If it's got fine glitter on it, chunky glitter, those are all some variables that um, will affect the drying time. Okay, so for these cups with the handles, this is what I like to do because I feel like my normal brush is too big for the handles. And so I just put a little bit of Hyperion in this cup and just a little brush and I just do the handle real quick. And then I'll do the, um, the rest of the cup with the, the bigger brush and that works well for me. <laughs> Otherwise I'll get like pooling underneath here and um, it get, it'll get thick over time, but I want it to stay consistent with the rest of the cup. Is 
Is this something different? Yeah, it's, so it's different than epoxy. This isn't a glue, this is a top coat. It's a water-based top coat. So you don't have to mix it. You don't have to um, wear PPE or worry about using it in your home. It's non-toxic. And it's super easy to apply. And if anyone is interested where you can get Hyperion, I get mine from Grateful Glitters. And uh, they have a website, the link's in my bio if you wanna check it there, or you can go to gratefulglitters.com um, and they ship super fast. Okay, so that one is done. Is, I use the same size when I do it over clay. Which one, Annie? This one or the smaller one? So when you're brushing it on, you just wanna watch for pooling. If there's a lot of the um, product in one spot, you can just brush it out. I like to do like brush it from the middle out to the end so nothing gets stuck out on the rims. And very, very little pressure, it doesn't take much. That one's done. I'm gonna move you over to the last one. I'm doing two of these, um, the North Pole cups. I'm gonna put North Pole uh, designs on them and gonna do like the chocolate drip over top yeah it's way easier than epoxy um the room doesn't i hopefully maybe someone that also uses hyperion can chime in um th but it's a very wide range for um temperatures of your room i want to say like 50 degrees fahrenheit to I don't know sometimes i'm in arizona sometimes my craft room gets over 85 degrees and I have never had any issues with it. Smaller, yeah, okay. Yeah, and I, I'm i okay with this fan brush, but I, I'm not a big fan brush person. I wanna get a smaller Taglon brush. Makes the fiddly bits less of a pain. Um, and yeah, you don't need epoxy over it. This is your epoxy alternative. And you don't have to mix anything, no PPE. And also you don't have to babysit it either. Um, if, you, if you're coming from epoxy, uh, you don't have to worry about anything like fish eyes or bubbles. It goes on very smooth and, and that's it. You can walk away and just every two hours come back and apply another coat just like I'm doing here. And I say these coats, this is my fifth um, coat of Hyperion I'm putting on these. And I did just sand right before I started this coat. So if you were watching from when I started, that's why these cups looked a little bit dull. But Hyperion, the shine is amazing and it comes right back once you put your next coat on. Okay, so that's it. And I'm just gonna stick this brush back in my cup of water. And in two hours, I can come back and add another coat on those. And I'll take you back over to, don't look at my floor, it's messy. <laughs> um, we'll come back over here, we'll make some more stuff. Okay, sorry. Okay, let me see if I missed out on any comments real quick. Hey, Felicia, how are you? All right. And thank you guys um, 
I know Jessica's in here, Kizzy, Felicia, chiming in on Hyperion questions. I appreciate it. Yeah, Felicia, you do need to go live. Um, yeah, so let me show you guys some finished ones that I've done. Um, down here okay so this one has been sitting in my cupboard for a while because I don't know what to put on it but this is um, actually dill like from the grocery store and um, look how smooth you can get it over dill uh, I just got to come up with something to put on top of it as far as decals but um, you can just see how nice and shiny it is this one's one of my popular ones that I sell the glitter Super shiny. Um, this one here is an example of that North Pole cup that I uh, was just coating. This is what I want it to look like when it's done. And then this one's been sitting around forever too. I got to come up with a decal to put on it, but it's kind of like a sunset beach cup or I guess sunrise. I don't know whichever one. But this probably only has. I want to say maybe five or six coats on it and it's ready for a decal so I haven't coated it anymore because I don't want to I don't need to but um, if you guys have any ideas for what I can put on this one let me know Felicia sanding pens. God bless you. I'm just not, I have pens that I started like three weeks ago and I just cannot get myself to get into pens. I made myself one, of course, but I don't think I'm gonna make them anymore. Okay, so let's do a glitter one real quick. Do I take orders? I don't take orders. What I do is I uh, make them ready to ship. So as soon as I finish a tumbler, I'll throw it up on my website for sale. Um, and you can go to my website and see everything that I have available right now. Um, it's in my profile, bettercallmallcreations.com. But there's a link you can click on. Sunrise, sunset. Yeah, I like that Luke Bryan song. I might do that. Okay. So for this one, in between, uh, you can't really see the design that much anymore, but it's this these shades of blue. And you can see this looks dull. I sanded it. It was a sublimation cup I made last night. Um, and I sanded it. It doesn't remove the design. Um, but it will be... Uh, now I can use uh, Helios or Hyperion on it without it repelling. So I'm going to use these glitters on it. They're from Grateful Glitters, Poiseidon, and Oceanscape. And I think those will be fun with this design. Okay, and I just gotta grab some paper real quick. Okay. Am I gonna play Call of Duty? <laughs> yes, actually, I have been kicking Frank's butt in Call of Duty. Just didn't wanna make you guys feel bad if I jumped on. So the glue I'm using is called Helios 2 Crafters Glue. It is awesome for applying glitter and I will also use it to seal my glitter. 
And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the chunky first, just sporadically, and then I'm going to um, fill in the blanks with the fine glitter. And the nice thing about Helios too is a little bit goes a long way. Can I show it again? The glue, Helios too. And you can get this at Grateful Glitters as well. It's the same place I get my Hyperion. They're all um, Wilson and Brown products. And if you don't live in the United States, you can get, um, you can go to, uh, I believe it's wilsonbrownsupplies.com and see all the distributors for your area. And what I love about this glue too is that it does not dry out. So you have plenty of working time. It always stays um, a little bit tacky, but you have plenty of working time to get your glitter on without it um, losing some of the coverage or looking spotty. And if you guys have any questions about sublimation while I'm here, I went live yesterday and made a bunch of sublimation cups. This was one of them. Um, and now I'm showing you guys how you can combine sublimation and glitter and Hyperion. So that's kind of all I want to do with the chunky. I don't want it to be um, complete coverage with it. I just want it kind of sporadically. And then I'll just do the bottom and the, the rim. And then I'll fill everything in with the fine glitter. Probably should have painted the bottom. We'll see what happens. Okay. Set this down, switch glitters. Okay, and for all my fine glitters, I typically use this tea strainer. Um, I think you can get them in a pack of three or six or something, but from Amazon. And I just feel like tea strainers give a good even coverage. So that's why I like to use tea strainers. And I just let it fall where it goes. And this glitter is so pretty, it's um, color shifting. And I think it kind of captures both of the colors of um, the design. Okay. All right, so you 
can see. Kind of just looks like a hot mess right now. But you guys like that glitter? It probably will. It kind of looks like a lighter blue, but still like look how good of coverage that is on the bottom when it was bright white. So, and that's that's all thanks to the glue. That stuff is sticky. Okay, while well, I'm cleaning this up, you guys let me know which one should we do next? The red or the yellow? Red, red, two for red, one for yellow. Yeah, Poseidon is so pretty. I've used it a lot. And I use it on my beach cups, too. Red. So far, it looks like red is the winner. And where's my thingy for cleaning the glitter? Yellow. I use it a lot. Okay, looks like, well shoot, now we have a couple more yellows. <laughs> okay. All right, well we're gonna do red because more people said red first. I think it was a tie. I'll do the yellow still too. And yeah, the glue is a 30 minute dry time. So I'm gonna write that down on my board so I can remember when I glittered it so I can come back. Six, three, seven, six. And blue. So after, so on this one, after 30 minutes is up, I'm going to roll this in parchment paper to flatten that glitter down that's sticking up. And then I'll use Helios again, the glue, to seal it, and then I can pull the tape off. It'll be ready to um, coat with Hyperion after that. And if you guys were in my live last night, I, I sublimated these cups um, last night and then I just sanded them this morning and uh, you can see that it, it makes the design look a little dull, but um, it'll, it'll come back shiny with Hyperion over top of it, but it's not, it didn't ruin the design at all to sand this. It doesn't take the color off. And then doing it this way, um, the alternative is uh, people will get uh, patterned vinyl and put the strips of vinyl on their cup. But I just know I would fail horribly at doing that. So I decided to try this method and sublimate my strips on or stripes on and then go from there. And I want to try, I just need to get my designs right, but I want to try to do like maybe um, some of the other popular designs like the V-split and things like that, but sublimate the, um, the design instead of using vinyl on those.
Yeah, if you don't sublimate a lot, then definitely pattern vinyl is the way to go. And there's so many cute patterns out there right now. I think for me, it would just be hard to decide like which one I would want to use for, for which. And that's kind of why I like sublimation because I can just print out as many transfers as I want. slippers and these are also from grateful glitters they're like a holographic red but i think that'll look really pretty with this one and let me try something new this time i'm going to tint my glue for the bottom because the bottom is still white i'm going to tint my glue and see if that doesn't help with um getting a little bit fuller coverage on the bottom We'll see how that goes. Hey, Kevin. Okay. Oops, there goes that one. So I'm using Helios 2 to glue to add my glitter and I also use it to seal. How's everyone's nights going? What are you up to? kind of brush this brush is just from the Dollar Tree it's a blush brush finishing stuff up for my vendor event next weekend doing laundry <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing that I don't think I've done a load today though okay so I'm gonna try tinting my glue with this is the Aurora red pigment Oh sweet, got the 15,000 working. Awesome. Okay. So yeah, I just put like two or two or three drops of pigment in there and look how red that is. And this is the glue. So I'm gonna paint this on the bottom and see if we can kill two birds in one stone and not have to redo the bottom with um, another layer of glitter. Okay. Not too bad. 
Hey Allison, do I typically do one layer on glitter? I always try to get away with one layer of glitter. If I have to do two, I will, but um, it's always my goal is to just get one glitter, one layer of glitter on there. But I'm pretty impressed with that. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing, just go sporadically with the chunky first and then I'll go in with the fine to fill in the blanks. You do too, always. I feel like when you, if you were having um, your tumbler base coated, holy cow, there's a bee in here. Uh, um, if your tumbler's base coated, they're same color, that's when I feel like I can get away with having um, just one coat of glitter. But there's certain ones, and usually with ombres, I'll, I'll do two. It's hard to get an ombre right on the first go. But if it's just a solid glitter or fine glitter, or if your cup's base painted the same color that you're using, I try to get away with just one. Okay. I coat only one too lazy for two. Okay, we'll see what happens here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be able to get away with just one one coat of glitter on here. can see the bottom that looks good that was when I tinted the glue and I can't see any white peaking at all so I'm definitely going to be tinting my glue from now on yeah it looks good yeah I'm super happy with that and like I said that was just like one or two um no I think it was two or three drops of uh pigment that I put in the glue, but like that is super, super red. Okay, so next we'll do the yellow one. Okay, the pigments I used are, um, they're the Aurora pigments, they're from Wilson and Brown, 
but they're awesome. And they, yeah, they're uh, water-based. yellow one next I was I thought I had like a lighter gold color so I guess I'm gonna have to go back down to grateful glitter soon but um so for this one I think I'm gonna do um this one for the chunky and then fill it in with this one and that's this is bumblebee and rubber ducky from grateful glitters um but what do you guys think for that one it'll be a, a non-traditional Christmas cup And if you've watched any of my TikToks with my daughter, she picked these ones out exclusively. She has a cup with a bunch of yellow glitters on it. But I think she has good taste. with the yellow in the sub, well, yeah, it'll help the yellow in the sub pop. So, and I think I'm gonna go actually, cause, and Jessica or Kevin, you guys know, but you have like a lighter gold, cause I have 24K, but I think you have a lighter one than that. And I thought I had it for some reason. So this one, you can't really sublimate the bottoms. Um, so I'm gonna do the same thing with this. I'm gonna tint my Helios glue and um, see if we can't do just one coat on the bottom as well. And so I'm using the yellow pigment and I'll show you guys just like two drops of this. El Dorado. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna be coming down next week for El Dorado. Okay, so we'll do one, two, oh, well, there was three, came out. But anyways, look how awesome that is. It's the perfect jello. The white bottle, this is the glue I'm using. It's Helios too. It's um, from Wilson and Brown. They also make Hyperion. And um, you can get it at Grateful Glitters. That's where I get mine at least. Um, if you guys have any questions about Hyperion as well, shout those out. It's an epoxy free alternative. It's a water-based top coat. It's got a two hour dry time. Oh, I gotta paint this, or tape this first. And if you were on my live yesterday, um, I sublimated all these cups. And then I, what I did today was I just sanded it lightly. You can see it's not that glossy look anymore to it, but um, the design is definitely not affected when you sand it. And um, then you can go ahead and use uh, glitter, glue, paint, whatever you wanna do to it, top coat. And it's my cheat method to doing vinyl because I cannot lay vinyl straight to save my life. And this helps to put the, the stripes on straight and then I can just follow the lines with my painter's tape to tape it off. And yes, it is, a, um, it's epoxy free. I don't, I actually, I'm in my house right now, my craft area, and I have these turners spinning in the back here with Hyperion on them. I don't have to have a mask on or any PPE. I have two kids at home and I can safely use it around them without worrying about toxic toxicity. How do you say that? Toxicity? <laughs> um, it's non-toxic.
And after a little bit, I'll take you guys over. I started this live with um, coating these tumblers so I can show you what they look like because they're already dry to the touch. I want to say I coated them about 40 minutes ago now. So we'll glitter this one and we'll go check them out. And that's what I like about Hyperion a lot too is that after, I mean for me, I live in a drier climate but it's like 30, 40 minutes and they're dry to the touch. So I don't have to have a million turners. I could just, I have six, um, but I could just swap cups out every 30, 40 minutes and I don't need to have a bunch of turners. Say that looks good. <coughs> Excuse me. And let's see, glue. Got my glitters. You send me the link for my big roller thingy. Um, yeah, I can send that. It's on Amazon, the Amazon store online. And it's made by, actually, you probably just find it, Scotch Bright. But this thing is awesome. And I bought like a million refills for it so I can have a glitter free table when I'm doing sublimation. I <laughs> love the Amazon. I know the Amazon is so cool. You can get so many cool things there. And for me, I can get a lot of it delivered the same day because we have uh, warehouses here. So that's always my favorite. And sometimes I ordered uh, a certain brand just because I can get it that same day versus a different one. That's my toxic trait. Um, and the types of paint I'm using, so right now I'm just using glue. I sublimated this cup, so the yellow's not paint, it's sublimation ink. Because um, I knew I was going to glitter over it. So I just kind of subbed it the color that I thought I wanted my glitter to be. And then on the bottom though, I'm going to do, because you can't really sublimate the bottom. So I made, I mixed the glue with the Aurora pigment and made my own yellow glue. And so that's what I'm gonna use on the bottom so I don't have to do two coats of glitter. And yeah, the coverage of this stuff is awesome. And actually, this is kind of taking on the darker yellow color of the ink. You can see how much brighter it looks on the paper than on the cup, maybe only on person, but um, it'll be interesting to see how this one looks finished. And if it's the darker color, that's fine, because that's the color that's in the yellow Christmas trees, so it's going to still be perfect. And I'm using a lot more of this than the other chunkies, so well. Okay. Next 
So we'll go in with the fine yellow, and then these ones will all be done. And actually, that blue one, the first one we started, will be ready soon to, um, to seal the glue already. And that's what's so cool is you have so much time to, um, or you don't have that much time to work. So you're, you can always constantly be working on your cups. You don't have a lot of waiting around time. Okay. Okay, so here's the yellow. So you can see it's not as bright as, um, well, I don't know. In, on the camera, it really looks the same, I guess. But in person, it looks like a little bit more gold color. So, and then the bottom's a little bit brighter because I painted it with the tinted um, glue. But what do you guys think about this one? Awesome. Yeah, I really can't wait to see what they look like once I take the tape off. Okay. Let me clean up this area real quick. Um, new just joining in I these were all sublimation cups that I did you can't really see the design too much except on the um, top here but you can easily sublimate designs on tumblers sand the tumblers just a little bit and then um, you could turn them into coated tumblers with glitter coat with Hyperion which is what I use or if you use epoxy or whatever um, it doesn't really matter but the sublimation cups can be sanded and used for other purposes. And if you guys need any sublimation cups, I also sell them. I haven't talked about that too much tonight, but um, I sell sublimation links and supplies and my website's on my bio, so you can check it out there if you need anything. Okay. Okay. So these are the cups that I um, coated with Hyperion at the beginning of this live so about 40 minutes ago I think and they're already dried to the touch but you can see now um, how shiny they are I had just sanded them before I put the coat on um, and that milky white color is gone it's crystal clear and this one too and look how like brilliant white that is. I kind of have a yellow light in here, but it still looks super white. Um, Felicia, the glitter on the um, the wine tumbler is. Uh, let me look. I can't remember the name right now. Um, midnight blue and. Um, I don't know if it's Lyra or Lyra, L-Y-R-A, but that's the chunky form of it. All right, here's the beach tumbler I've been working on. This one's going to be ready for a decal. Again, I'm stuck on probably what to put on it, but it's super shiny. And then I had one other, um, the white one with uh, the Christmas design. So those ones, now since they're dry to the touch, um, I could turn the turners off, but I can't recoat them for a two hour period. So I will put another coat on them in about an hour. Yeah, Felicia, you have to. And that was, a, that was a cup that I'd had sitting around. I had a messed up leopard print design on it and it just was sitting forever. And so yesterday I was like, 
I'm just, or maybe it was two days ago, but it's like, I'm just gonna cover it with glitter and I'll turn it into something else finally. <laughs> okay. Turtles on the beach tumbler. Oh, that's a good idea. I like turtles a lot. That's a really good idea. Okay. Um, so I have one more sublimation tumbler, tumbler that I did yesterday. And I'm just gonna throw some opal glitter on it and see what happens. I like doing opal glitter on the sublimation cups with like the colorful designs because then the glitter will just accentuate the colors on it. So I'm going to do first some of this one. It's opal ice mix. It's kind of like a, it's got some chunky and fine bits in it. And then I'm going to do opal of my eye, which is the fine glitter and fill in the spaces. Um, the grit that I use for sanding the sublimation tumblers, I use 400 grit. And I just lightly sand. I don't go to town on it. But you're not going to hurt the design. And, and when you're sanding, you actually sometimes will see like ink um, coming off. But... You can tell like it's the design is still just fine, so you're you're not hurting it. Okay. And yeah, if you guys have any questions about uh, sublimating at all or Hyperion or any of the products I'm using, just let me know. And I know at least for Hyperion, there's several people in here that use it as well, so they can help answer any questions. Okay, so the glue's on nice and smooth. This is such an easy glue to work with. It really just glides right around on the cup. Okay, and you can see like this whole time I've just been leaving my brush out and then picking it up when I need to. Um, your brush is not gonna get all hard and crusty before um, you wanna use it again. So you can just leave it out like I do. Okay. This is an opal glitter I'm adding to this one. Okay, you can see how it looks on there. Gives it just some extra dimension and sparkle. So, I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I just leave the chunky or should I fill in the spaces with the fine glitter? I don't know if you can see it better like this. It might look kind of cool, just the chunky mix on there. Leave it like this. Yeah, I might, let's see what happens. I think that looks kind of cool. All right, well then this one's done. And then here's the bottom. I love this opal glitter. Okay, we're gonna leave it.
Okay. So then the cool thing is, is we can go back to that first blue cup and we can flatten the glitter and seal it and take the tape off. You can see what it looks like. Molly, somebody asked what grit sandpaper I use. For the sublimation tumblers, I use 400 grit sandpaper. Oh no, I'm out of my roll of stuff. This is what the refills look like. Um, large surface cleaning roller refill. So if you look, Felicia, for the large surface roller, that's probably where you're gonna um, find this roller out on, on the Amazon. Oh no. I'm not really sure how to change this out though. I think I pulled from the wrong direction. Sorry, one second. I'm having technical difficulties. put a different one on. Alright. Um, what's your guys' weather like? I know Felicia, you said you guys had, um, was it tornadoes or just like tornado-like weather? instructions <gasps> pop out the roller pushing down at the notch because okay you know what I'm doing it by hand right now I can I don't know how to refill this right now <laughs> I will save the instructions for later but I don't want to keep you guys waiting some tornadoes touch down northeast of Dallas. Crazy winds. Yeah, I saw the picture of the hail you got. We don't usually get weather like that here, but we had hail um, like two or three weeks ago, and it was like, I don't know, it was pretty big, like a, a big marble at least. And that was kind of freaky. All right. So just so you know, this works as a manual roller too, if anyone wanted to know. <laughs> okay. So let me grab my parchment paper. It's cold, 55 degrees. It is 63 degrees here. Okay, so this was the first tumbler that we did with the blue glitter on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatten it and then we'll seal it with the Helios glue and I'll pull the tape. Yes, I get my parchment paper from Sam's. And I love it, I think it comes in a two pack. can see just by um, flattening it or rolling it in the parchment paper it's gotten a lot flatter um, and I'm going to coat it with Helios to seal it and then I'm gonna actually flatten it one more time here yeah that is chilly in the mornings here it gets down to like 40 
43, 45, 46. Um, what sucks is like our house is just not um, very efficient in distributing the air. So our kids' rooms get so cold in the in the fall or the winter, and then they get so hot in the summer. Well, the rest of the house is the opposite. So we actually have a separate, in the summertime, we have a separate air conditioner in our living room that will run, um, just so we're not like burning up there while the kids are freezing in their rooms. Okay. Actually, we use quite a bit. A little bit of Helios goes a long way. Okay, so those are sealed and then I'm just going to do the bottom real quick. And then I'll wait 30 minutes again and then I'll um, flatten this for the last time. But we could probably take the tape off now so we can see what it looks like. Actually, I'll do the other two and then we can do like a grand reveal. So make sure I get this stuff on the side. Okay. All right, so that one, the, gl the glitter is sealed. Okay, and I am gonna rinse my brush out real quick to get this glitter off, I'll be right back. A lot of times I'll just take this down to the tile floor and I'll roll it against the tile to get it really flat, but I think this will be good here. Okay. Oh, and actually, you know what I didn't do on the blue one is, um, I usually take a dry brush and I'll brush off any extra glitter as well. And yeah, this is the one, so I only did one coat of glitter on this, but this is the one I tinted the, um, the glue with some red pigment, and you can see, like, look how perfect that looks. And actually, if you could compare this one to the blue one, uh, because I dry brushed it off, like you could see like none of that chunky is sticking up. Everything that was sticking up uh, will come off with the brush. So that'll just help. Um, you have to use less coats of Hyperion if um, your glitter is just super flat to start with. But if it's not, it's fine. You just might need a couple extra coats of Hyperion to get it uh, completely smooth. 
and sanding will help with that too. smooth and we'll just do the bottom and this glue will dry crystal clear as well so you can use it to seal anything and you won't even know that you have applied glue on it and that goes for um like some people like to seal their vinyl and things like that. And so this glue would be awesome for that too. Okay, so that one's done. And yeah, you can just see like how crazy flat that glitter is. Um, if you look at the blue one, it's pretty flat too, but I, I, I can at least in person see that there's some pieces still kind of sticking up. So my second time um, flattening it with parchment paper after this glue is dry, hopefully we'll take care of those pieces sticking up. And I'm going to rinse my brush again. If you guys um, don't have one of these brush cleaner things, I highly recommend getting it. It gets the glitter out of your brush like in two seconds. Dry brush off any excess glitter. Okay. If you guys have any questions about Hyperion while I'm here, um, or Helios, or any of the products that I'm using, or questions about sublimation, feel free to ask ask them. Okay, those are sealed. I'll just do the bottom and then we can pull the tape off of all of these. You guys can see what they look like. They're still going to look a little bit white with the glue because it's still drying, but um, as you can see, the design again. my brush one more time. Mm 
Okay. Tape pulls. And the glue is still a little bit wet, so that's why it looks kind of white still, but it'll dry clear in probably another 20 minutes or so. But you can see like, look how nice and sharp those lines are. Well, that one line is, but the rest will be sharp too. And the design right now, it looks a little dull because I sanded the tumbler. It's a sublimation tumbler. But once I um, add my first coat of Hyperion over it, it's going to shine right back up and once this glue is dry um which it'll be dry it's a 30 minute dry time then i usually wait just another uh 30 minutes before i'll go in with my first coat of hyperion but it's a very quick process from the time you start glittering to the time you can already add your first coat of hyperion which is awesome So what do you guys think? And again, uh, the glue is still a little bit wet, so it looks white, but I think this is gonna look really pretty with a couple coats after a coat or two of Hyperion over it as well. You can see the sparkle. This glitter pulls like a light blue to a darker blue. So I think it's perfect with um, this design. Okay, we'll do the red next. love this design. I think that's so cute. And then what I'll do after um, this is completely smooth with Hyperion is I'll do some vinyl detailing, um, striping around the where the glitter and the design meet. And then it'll be done. Here's the red one. What do you guys think about this one? There's the bottom where we tinted the glue. So yeah, once that glue dries, this will look super red, the glitter will. Okay, and the yellow. The yellow one I glued last, so that's why it still looks so wet. Mm 
Do I have some already finished? I um I don't right now. I I made one. I have a picture of it, but I don't have it here. But I should have some of these done in just um uh, I'll have these done in a couple days. So if you're following me on TikTok, I'll probably make a TikTok about them or if I go live again, I can show them on that live. But if you've seen any of the tumblers people make with um, vinyl and they they um, lay down the vinyl designs and glitter between, this is the same concept. It's just I did it with sublimation instead. So this one, what do you guys think about this one? I like this one a lot, actually. All right, so those are my three that I sublimated um, this, the designs on yesterday. I did that, and then now they're glittered. They're ready to go, so in about an hour or so, I'll probably put my first coat of Hyperion on them, and they'll be good to go. Just um, probably a few coats of Hyperion. They'll be ready for the vinyl. And then a couple more coats and they'll be done. So I'll have them done in a couple days as long as I am working over here. And then I forgot I did that one other, um, the one with the opal glitter. This one. So I'll flatten this one down real quick. And then I'll seal this glitter as well. If you guys do do sublimation cups and um, you want to do any designs with them like I'm doing, make sure where you're putting your glitter or even if you're painting over it, you cannot have any of the design showing. Uh, the design will come through the glitter, even if it's like black glitter. I had that happen to me. I learned the hard way. So if you have a sublimation cup that you've messed up, you need to strip it. You cannot just paint over it. Um, and it and it won't show up over like right away, but over time, like three weeks, you'll slowly start seeing the design showing through um, your top coat. And that stinks. That happened to me on a couple different ones. So always strip them. It's very easy to strip them too. You just use citrus strip. And it honestly, it could probably be about six hours or less. And your um, the coating is already peeled off. You just wash it and then you can sand it and glitter it. Okay. I almost feel like I don't even need to seal this glitter, but I still will. I didn't add any fine between it, so all it has is the um, the chunky kind of randomly spread around on it. We'll let all these dry for 30 minutes. I'll flatten them again, and then in 30 minutes, I'll go ahead with my first coat of Hyperion. Do you guys have any questions about anything at all? About Hyperion, sublimation? Okay, that one is sealed. See how fast the glue dries look at how you can just see all the blue now there's a couple more spots where the glue is still white but um i just i just um took the tape off of this one like five ten minutes ago and it's already almost pretty much dry so i love that one and then um 
the red one the same thing the glue is almost dry on this red one so you can see how bright and vibrant the red is and all these glitters are from grateful glitters if you guys haven't shopped with them um, they have amazing glitter and they also carry all the wilson and brown products like hyperion and helios glue the pigments paints everything you need to make a tumbler they've got it okay um so i think that's it for me i'm gonna hop off here um but thank you guys for joining in and watching me make some cups and i'll keep you tuned on how they turn out but have a good night everyone